Well, coming up this week, the Northwest Nazarene University men's basketball team will face the College of Idaho in a fight for the Mayor's Cup. It's the oldest college rivalry in the state of Idaho. 92 years and counting, actually. No other rivalry has really stood the test of time like that. When Boise State and the University of Idaho would face each other in football, though, they competed for the Governor's Cup. But the Broncos and the Vandals, they haven't played each other since 2010. Idaho State and the U of I recently reignited their football rivalry in 2018 with the Battle of the Domes trophy. But there is a deeper history between those two schools, specifically in basketball. King Russet, Spuddy Buddy, Idaho's unofficial mascots have resembled tubers since, well, Idaho became known for its potatoes. But at least one famous tater trophy has been lost for decades. His name, King Spud. It's got a face that's, that's kind of winking, kind of leering, and then it's got a crown that's just a, just a little bit askew. It kind of follows you around the room when you look at it. This imitation russet was designed in the early 1960s. And the trophy was part of an effort to try and really build a rivalry game between the University of Idaho and uh, then Idaho State College, now uh, Idaho State University. Uh, that trophy was given to the winner of the basketball game between that uh, rivalry series. And it went back and forth for, uh, we think, about 15 years. It was first awarded in 1963, but not everyone thought it was a prize worth winning. You know, a lot of the uh, reactions to the trophy were that it was um, hilariously weird looking and you know so maybe it just wasn't an object that people really wanted to get that competitive about. After losing to the Vandals in February of 1979, Idaho State head coach Lynn Archibald told the Spokesman Review he wasn't upset to see the trophy go. He said quote, the trophy should go to the losing team, not the winning one. It's the ugliest thing I've ever seen. I've seen other ways uh, that it's been described but I don't know if those are really great for broadcast TV. It was shortly after that. And then it just went missing. We don't know where it is. The most recent sighting that I'm, I'm aware of was in the 1980s at the Idaho State University Alumni Center. That was the last time anybody saw it. 40 years later, the University of Idaho says they still get calls about it, wondering what happened to King Spud. We think it was Idaho State. Um, you might find people at Idaho State who would want to blame us for losing it, but um, here at University of, University of Idaho, we, we think the blame belongs with Idaho State for losing this amazing trophy. And thanks to some pretty creative people at U of I who used only newspaper and yearbook photos to recreate it, King Spud, the remix, is now on display at the University Library. That just amazing strangeness of the trophy that's made it sort of the sticky little bit of, um, you know, niche Idaho history that people continue to be very fascinated by. It's no Lombardi trophy, but it's quite a looker. We reached out to Idaho State to see if they had any idea where King Spud might be, but they said they didn't have any information for us. Ben Hunter, the dean of the Idaho Library, who you just heard from, says that King Spud is part of the Digital Library of Idaho. It's a collection with several other universities and public offices who collaborated to put some pretty cool digital archives all in one place. And we actually have a link that you can go visit in the story at KTVB.com. I'll tell you this, someone knows where King Spud is. He must be found.